The UP 200 is kicking off tonight with the bib draw. Local 3's Corinne Griffith joins us in the studio with more on this 30 year tradition. Corinne. The UP 200 has quickly become an Upper Peninsula tradition, and with this year being the race's 30th anniversary, it's sure to be a great turnout. There are many events that the public is welcome to attend. Tonight is the bib draw at the Holiday Inn of Marquette. This is an important event for the mushers because this will tell them what order they will start the race. The number one person that leaves uh, will have, you know, no dog sent in front of them, uh, which a lot of times if they're trained up well that's not going to make any difference. Some people like to go toward the back. Depends on the personality of your team. Also open to the public is the vet check tomorrow at 9 a.m. at Riverside Auto. Prior to the race all the dogs have to go through a check to make sure that they are sound for the race. The, the vets will do some joint inspections looking at shoulders, looking at feet. Then Friday night we begin the races. There are actually three races. The UP 200 and the Midnight Run start on Friday night and the Jack Pine 30 starts on Saturday morning. The UP 200 is the big one. A 12 dog 238 mile race from Marquette to Grand Marais and back. The Midnight Run is an eight dog 94 mile mile race from Marquette to Chatham and back. And finally, the Jack Pine 30 is a 25 mile loop through Gwynn. We are going to have full coverage of the UP 200 events as well as behind the scenes information and fun facts from former racers and race coordinators on our WJMN Local 3 Facebook page throughout the weekend. So be sure to check that out. For now, reporting in studio, I'm Corinne Griffith, Local 3 News.